So this lot are now two. Well, they turned two on the 1st of January, but May is Eris's official birthday and Enya is just a week after, week, two, day, two weeks after Eris. So Eris is the natural leader. Hello. And she's mine out of Flora, but a lot bigger than the others. But yeah, she's the natural leader. Then the next one in the pecking order is Mr. Mule. And then comes Enya, who's on the far side. So you're saying this lot aren't allowed treats? Uh, only in very special circumstances. They don't get treats routinely. <sighs> Naughties. I'm being followed here. So these are the two-year-olds? Yeah, just, uh, they just explained. Just turn two. And we're just going to play, aren't we? So I like them to explore and play and hopefully never grow up to be spooky because I had one spooky horse and never again. So we do little things like this sometimes where we just walk over stuff. Yeah, like that. I'm going to get run over by a mule. Yeah, they do unfortunately then get a bit keen. So we're helping, this is our next generation of Aventas. Alright, Enya? Hello? Maybe not the mule so much, huh? I'm not, okay, he's a lot more suspicious. Yeah, he is a lot more suspicious. The donkey runs strong. Oh. What? These two are, have got it. <laughs> the the, the, the purpose-bought bred sport horses. Well done, Eris and Enya. There we go. The effort is large. I'm not sure you'd buy these lot from their videos, would you? I don't think you'd buy any two-year-old in winter. No. Really. They'd have to be pretty special and very cheap. But yeah, emphasis on cheap. <laughs> right, we'll go play with something else. So this is the t field the two-year-olds have got access to. It's got great soil. They've got loads of grass and it's on a slight incline, which is very good for young horses. And then at the top of their field, they've got a bit of a wooded area, a bunker. <laughs> so here we go, got a little bit of a hollow. I'm not sure, hopefully the camera picks it up well enough. So, some good proprioception work. Go on then, you look. Oh, the brave one's gone. But yeah, it's like a perfect natural playground for young horses. Like, I think Jansen and I agree. We're both obsessed about how young horses are brought up to be as natural as possible with the minimal amounts of handling that they're nice people, but in an environment that's as good as you can get in the UK. So very natural, different um, hills and gradients, things them to explore, work out at their feet. Eris, I haven't got any treats for you, I'm afraid. You're gonna have to go that way. But yeah, just to get muscles nice and strong and tendons nice and strong.
And have good footwork, strength from the footwork. muscles. And turn into pony that obsessed. <laughs> oh, even the mule prey. They enjoy it. It's fun. Popular now. Everybody's worked out got pony nuts. Very popular. Um, yeah, anyway, that's how that's how I start them off. Just play and then I'll take you and I'll show you Nova because he started off like this as well and then he can do a few more slightly clever things. Still play for him and pony nuts. The other thing that I like to do with this lot is just clamber up and over the gate and jump off it and just get them used to that. Having had a couple very tricky to back because they're really sharp about movement up above them, I'm absolutely determined that that never happens with mine. So I'm just a bit random. They get patted all over and I'm up here and then I jump down and they're just not batting an eyelid about it now. I think, you know, people say, oh, you can't just chuck young horses out in the field, but there's a, there is a, there's a balance where they can live out and live the life that they should, but you also equip them with some skills. We can put our, put our foot over and do some random things, can't we? You good boy. Hey? Yeah. Hopefully it'll make them very easy horses in the future. Isn't it? It's about little and often, isn't it? Yeah, just little bits, so it's never just a sudden shock that you're suddenly, you know, breaking them in. No, it's just a progression from what you've been doing all their lives. They've so So you've seen the foundations, which is just play with the babies. Um, and that's how Nova started as well because I bred him. He's lived in these fields all his life. I've got some little cross country jumps and ditches and things. And he just learned from very early age that if he followed me, he got pony nuts. So he's totally food obsessive, which does help if you want to train them to do things like this. Um, he will do absolutely anything in exchange for a pony nut. So we'll show you what kind of next steps are. So Nova learnt to loose jump when he was free and you know traditional send them down a bit of a line with guide poles and things but always for a food reward at the end and that's how I would personally start. Um, so loose jump them to teach them that association with the reward and then you can progress on. So my next step is have the same, have the same kind of setup but without the aid of of the wings so much. Um, Nova will do this just whatever but I'll show you the build up. So I've got a couple of guide poles and just a cross pole and uh, the thing I find with him is is getting him to go away from me that's the hardest part. Once he's gone he knows that he just runs around and jumps a jump. So let's give it a go shall we? He knows I've got pony nuts as you can tell. I do think it's a gelding thing because Robbie is really good at be. being trained for food. Whereas the, the mares are just not that bothered. Without the extra jump needed Nova. Good boy. Good boy. So that's quite easy. He knows that. He knows this game, like I say. So then once he's like happy and confident doing that, I'll just take the guide rails down. Jump the blocks as well, we'll do that in a minute. Anyway, so there we go, that was step two. Now I'll take the guide rails away completely and just put it to a little upright. Um, could do it on both, to be fair, but it's easier to jump a bit towards home. Good boy. Right, then we can jump something a bit more interesting. Not that one. 
So how do you direct him to tell him what you want him to jump? Well, it's a bit trial and error. <laughs> I'm a bit too lazy to then deconstruct that and move the blocks. So now I'm expecting him to understand that it's this one, which is probably a bit mean, isn't it? Oh boy. Now we make it a little bit narrower. He's, he's down over there. He's more likely because you just keep coming to towards you. So we're now at three blocks. No. No. So just to give him a helping hand, we stuck some guide rails up. Oh, and now we're. No. Oh. So the hardest thing I find with him is getting him to go away from me to get enough space to get to the jump. And if I can achieve that, then he'll normally normally jump it, won't you? Good boy. Hey. Okay. Yeah, it's just a cool, it's just a little trick. But also found it quite helpful for training the initial bit of jumping. When they came to jump him in the saddle, you know, he'd already done enough free to know what, what it was all about and nothing was a big drama, was it? He's not spooky or lucky at anything. Here you go, boy. Yeah, he's very clever. My most clever horse. Oh, wait. No, maybe not. I would say not. <laughs> maybe he's not. He's a sculpt himself. Maybe not. The gloved himself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Giving himself a hernia in the field. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not. Hey. The most spoiled. He's the most spoiled. Mm. So you built yourself a ditch, didn't you? Because you've got a phobia uh, of ditches. Well, no, because his mother was really ditchy. So I built myself two ditches, one here and one over there with a rail over it. And then my determination was that I'd never have a ditchy horse ever again. And he's, to be fair, he's, he's pretty good. Anyway, this is a bit higher risk because we're out in his field and he'll probably just turn around and go back to his buddy. I'm stressing in a moment, but I'm hoping the lure of pony nuts is enough to get something. So it's this one. Well, he's got some nice little two-year-olds to show off to now. Pony nuts is strong. Pony nuts. Oh, not quite that strong. Okay. 
Got one shot then. Oh no. The lure of pony nuts. So having had a play at this myself, some horses have a natural aptitude and some don't. The mares are not bothered by this. <laughs> Do not see the point. Inti was just like, you're ridiculous. Yeah. Robbie was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Treats on treats for very little effort. <sighs> yeah, that's exactly how Nova feels about it. Treats for not doing very much at all. So uh, we've got all levels of loose jumping today for uh, Liberty. Uh, Robbie is what I would call intermediate level. So he needs a bit of support, don't you, Robsy? You love your food, you do love food. Uh, and he's good on a straight line. And obviously we do it in our uh, little pen. So that helps him. Uh, see, told you he loves food. Uh, that's very rude. Robbie! That's my chaff bowl. So yeah, Robbie's what I'd call intermediate level. So I've just set up a little fence to demonstrate. I'm gonna take it down because he needs to actually warm up first. Like you wouldn't want to let Robbie go in a field because I don't think he would keep his, I don't think he'd keep his attention. Right, I'm just gonna take this down so he can warm up. It's gonna probably roll in a second. Robbie, don't roll. Oi! Robbie! Shh! Shh! Keep going. So, just gonna, I've got a small little skinny. I set up little white guiding rails. Obviously, if you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. So he can escape. Put the pole on the floor so he can warm up. Robbie! Oi! Right. Go on. So, got no whip or anything, so he's just free to do what he wants. There we go. Go. He does have a preference on direction, so normally start one way or the other. As you can see, he does kind of know what he's doing. And because it's not a huge area, he's a bit, his attention's a bit more directed in a minute because he's being pretty good just trotting around he'll get a treat Robbie 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 oh, but he's not paying attention he's too busy see he does Robs Robbie there we go there he's spotted a treat good boy so Robbie does know if he's good he gets a treat if he doesn't do what is required, he doesn't get a treat. Right, off you go. Go. No, go on. Go on. Go. No. Now he's hovering to me. Is this what I mean? He's like, oh, no, you haven't done your job. Go and do your job. No, you need to go away. And this is why you wouldn't let him go in a big field, but in a little pen like this. <sighs> go on, go on. So he's kind of taught himself that if he goes over something, there you go. Good boy. Come here, Robsy. Oh, now he thinks Jerry's got a bucket. So that's even, a, that's a bigger draw. You've got a bucket, unfortunately. You've got a bucket. <sighs> Jerry's been creosoting. I don't think that's the kind of content he'd like. Robsy. Go on. Off you go. Oh, you can have. You were good for that, but I expect you've forgotten what that was good for. Off you go. So, it does have to be kind of fun for them. You can have a brush off. He loves being filthy.
doesn't get naked rolls very often. Oh, did you like that? Did you like that, hey? Right, off you go, do some work. Good boy, come here. Oh, now he's, yeah. And then he sometimes gets quite into it. He forgets he's gonna get a treat. Go, okay. it's gone up. You gonna pay attention? You gonna pay attention? It's not very big. I purposely don't do it very big with him so he doesn't upset himself. Go, go. Go on, round you go. Round, you want a treat? There we go, good boy. Good boy. Look at his happy little face. Right, off you go. Good boy. <laughs> See, then he go. now he's got it, he's off. <laughs> it's not the greatest of style. <laughs> but for him, the reward is worth it. There you go, like I'm not even having to direct him now. Go on. Good boy. All right, I need to see if I can get in the other direction. Good boy. <laughs> and that's it. You good boy. Oh, he's off again. So he has cottoned on very quickly. I'm going to demonstrate with the Shetland. The two mares, not so interested. All right, go on, off you go. Once more, Robbie. Go, go. Stumble. Go on, keep going. Oh, lovely effort. Good boy. Come here. And there we go. There's Robbie, who's intermediate level. <sighs> but I found it's really good for his confidence because he has to figure stuff out by himself and then he gets very well rewarded for it. Are you still on one, hey? So now I've got the big posh sports horse. Go on then. Walk on, who is not that bothered about food, but does know about loose jumping because uh, she's done quite, not huge amounts, but she's done stuff every year. Ever since she was like, Inchi, go. Good girl, there's a good girl. So yeah, she probably would loose jump from three years old almost where I just, just started her in poles. Go on, off you go, off you go. No, she gets recrossed and she's going to stamp her feet. Go on, off you go. Go on. In tea. Off you go. It's like, what the hell? Come on. I said, I do expect her to be the worst. Look at her face, it's like, must be joking if I'm going to waste my energy on this crap. And this is what I mean, it's helpful if you've got a horse that's very interested in food and quite highly motivated. She doesn't mind the odd treat, but you know, she's not like Robbie, who's obsessed. Come on! And this might be as successful as we get. And that's fine, because this won't do it with her again, because clearly it's not something she's highly motivated by. Come on, let's go. Take you by the head collar. Go on, round you go. Go. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Ironically, she's the best jumper of the lot. Go. Go. Let's go. Go. And what will happen is she'll get bored. Oh, yes, my gloves are far more interesting. Come on, let's go. Come on, off you go. Come on. See, not even that bothered about treats. No, about loose schooling. Go. 
go. And she is always slightly more motivated by a jump. There we go. Good girl, come here. Good girl. Yeah, you good girl. So, unlike Robbie, where you can just point and direct, you sort of end up handing the lunch around. So, she's not an ideal candidate for this. And she'll just carry on with the traditional. Let's go again. Should we go again? <laughs> no, she says. No. Let's go. No. Oh, cross. So, there you go. That's hard done with loose jumping and at liberty because she's not interested and she is not um, highly motivated by treats. She likes them, but she's not willing to do anything for them. Are you? Eh? No. Not able to compete here last year, so 